everyone. This video will talk you through the new Silhouette Go mobile application. Silhouette Go is a simple, easy to use app which allows you to access your designs, both store bought and ones you've created yourselves, and quickly send them with the fewest steps possible. Let's start with the first time that you launch the application. You start with this intro screen. It gives you the option of viewing a slideshow, which will talk you through the basic screens involved with the application. Once you're done with the slideshow, click continue and choose which machine you're going to be using. You need to tell the application which one you're using at this point so that it can know which size mats to make available for you. We're going to choose the Portrait 3. Then you need to sign in using your normal Silhouette Design Store login. All of the screens which you've seen up until now are hidden, will be hidden from now on. They're part of the initial setup. However, you may want to access them again in the future, and we'll show you how to do that. Simply press the menu button, which looks like three lines at the top left of your screen, and you'll see the options for signing out, switch user, choose machine, and introduction, which will give you the screens that we've just seen. Normally, when you launch the mobile application after the first time, it will take you straight to this screen, which is where you choose your design. There are four ways of choosing which design that you want to use. There are three ways of choosing which design you want to use. You can scroll through all of your designs. You can use the buttons here to filter for your favorites or for designs you've created yourself or designs you've purchased from the store. And you can also search. I'm going to type in the letter C A and search and you'll get, see that it gives me both the cake and the two cat designs. Once you've found a design that you want to use, simply press on it. This straight away takes you to the Arrange screen. This is where you can set up your design ahead of sending it. There are several different options available at this point. Press and hold on a design to move it around the screen. Once you've pressed on it, you'll also see four additional buttons. Trash can, rotate, duplicate, and resize. Press and drag the resize button to change the size of your design. Press and drag the rotate button to rotate it. Press the duplicate button to create additional copies. And press the trash can button if you want to delete that object from your design. You also have options at the top of the screen for undo, and redo for grouping and ungrouping if you have multiple designs on your page for mirroring your design we have an auto arrange option which will arrange multiple objects on the page together if you've got multiple ones on your design and we have the print and cut option that gives you your registration marks once you've set up the design as you want it Check that the mat size and media size are correct. In this case, I've set it to A4. Then press continue to job settings. At this point, you can change the material, the action and the tool if you want to. Pressing the change material option gives you all your different materials and they are grouped into types so that you can easily find the material that you're after. You can also search if I type card, for example, and it will give me all my card options there. In this case, I'm going to go simply with copy paper and press continue. You can then choose your action. Other actions can be available depending on which silhouette machine you're sending to, but in this case, we're going to stick with cut. And you can choose your tool. The Portrait 3 ships with the auto blade, which is the one selected. Other tools can be available, again, depending on which machine you're using. And we're going to press continue. You also have the option again here to mirror the entire design if you want to. Once you're ready, you can either create a test print by pressing the test settings button, but in this case, we're going to go straight to preview. Here, you can choose for each of your objects whether to cut the, all of the cut lines, just cut the edge of the object, or not cut that object at all. Once, once you're ready, press connect to machine, choose the machine that you're wanting to connect to, obviously please make sure that your portrait is turned on at this point, 
and it will connect to your portrait and then press continue. It then gives you a brief slideshow setting you up so that you can send your job and once you're ready press send. Once the job is complete it will tell you that it's finished and you'll have the option of either repeating the job in case you want to make a second cut or returning to a range if you would prefer. And then of course you can also go back to remove your design, back to your library to start again if you'd like to cut something else.